Father, are you happy being a priest? Absolutely. Why wouldn't I be? Uh, I get three hots in the cot, three hot meals a day in a cot. No, I'm <laughs> that's what they used to say when we did prison ministry. I love being a priest in all seriousness. Is it, is it a cakewalk? Absolutely not. Do we struggle as priests? We're human. Absolutely. I love the gift that God has given me, and I know that God gave me this gift because he chose me. I didn't choose God. He chose me, and I'm honored and blessed, and I say it from my heart. I've never been happier. Uh, being a priest is a learning experience. You grow in God's grace, and we fall, and uh, we're lifted up, and uh, we need your prayers. I ask everyone to pray for us. There's no one here among us priests, bishops or deacons or anyone in the religious life that doesn't struggle um, with the things of the world because we're human. But to be straight up with you, Karen, I love being a priest. Uh, I ride in on the Staten Island Ferry every Thursday and I wear my collar because I'm proud to be a witness of the faith. And mm -hmm. um, how many people do I get to run into that say, hey, Father, I went to uh, St. Sylvester's or I went to uh, St. Teresa's or St. Charles or St. Joseph and Thomas and they talk to you and or uh, I remember when the nuns taught me and you know what? It, it brings joy to my heart because people really want to see a witness to the faith and being a priest is a witness to the faith and um, I never stop loving being a priest and uh, every day I wake up and you know the old saying, you ask God to give you the grace to be who you're supposed to be and, and then God will do the rest. And, you know, there are times where with all the stuff going on in the world, who wouldn't struggle with all the negativity? But through it all, we know that God has given us that gift to, to answer his call. And just going back to Mary as the example, we follow her lead. Mm. You know, and I got Mary with me. You know, you see, you see these signs that say, I got milk or I got this. I got Mary. <laughs> so Mary, M-A-R-Y, not Mary. So um, I'm, I'm honored to be a priest. I'm humbled. Uh, it's, it's a gift from God. And, and just to, I want to say one thing about celibacy. That's one of the most misunderstood um, topics that's ever been spoken about. And it's not an easy topic. And I remember the old priest asking us in the seminary when we were first starting, mm -hmm. oh, how are you, what do you think of celibacy? And I remember one time saying to this priest that was over 50 years of priest, like, oh, that's easy, Father. And he goes, yeah, come back and see me in 20 years. And <laughs> I said, I, didn't, I really didn't understand what he was saying because I thought, well, this once you ordain a priest, it's really a, a, a skating on ice. And here's the beauty of it is, the beauty of it is, we're, we struggle with our vocations. We struggle with who we are. But at the end of the day, as St. John Paul II tells us, celibacy is a great gift. Mm -hmm. and it's a mystery from, I believe, his encyclical. Because God gave us this gift. And I say, God, here, God doesn't need my gift. But here, God, this means so much to me. I want you to have it. And for me to say that in my heart is what makes it understandable. And and I love it. I, I lo And for... Anyone who really says, well, yeah, well, that's you speaking as a priest. I say from my heart, our families are the parish families. And those kids we meet at school every day, they're the ones who are our families. And at the end of the day, they're the ones I give my heart over to, along with my own biological family. And that's what makes it, through, with prayer, more understandable, but more grace-filled. So I'm happy to be a priest. Uh, I love my brother priest. We're getting scuffs, scruffs now and then, you know, typical guys fighting over sports. We uh, have a guy from, that loves the Eagles here and another guy that loves the Rangers. So uh, we, we fight like little kids, but we love each other and uh, we're brother priests and it's a gift from God. So I'm happy to be a priest and I want to say thank you, Karen, for asking that question. And I thank because, you for being yeah. a priest yeah, and thank, thank you. you for sharing about thank that. You. that. That really touched my heart. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah, that's no, the truth. It's a huge mystery. It's a mystery, and it, it's not, it's a struggle. So don't ever, don't think it's. Uh, but in 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 grace, in, in our struggles, we get grace. Yes. Right. If the, the danger is when you skate through it and say, "Oh yeah, this is not a problem," um, or not a challenge, I should say, challenge, not a problem. Uh, then I would say, watch the warning bells. There, we all struggle. It is part of human nature. But at the end of the day, when you realize the gift that God gave you. Yeah. It, it's, it's all the, everything's off the table because you know that that man on the cross is he gave it all up on the cross 
for us that pales in comparison of what he gave us. So if any young men are out there thinking about being a priest, please see your see the priest you really feel you can talk to and talk to that priest. It doesn't have to be a vocations director. Talk to your uncle or friend that's a priest or a parish priest. Talk to an order priest, right? And um, talk to someone about it. And I let it I kept it quiet when I was in the with the Jesuits at Xavier High School, and I wish I did speak to my uh, the spiritual director in the high school at Xavier. But you know what? Maybe I wouldn't be sitting here as a pastor of St. Charles with all these beautiful families. So I think God led me this way, and um, I always wanted to go into missions and go to one of the islands. And God answered my my call. He sent me to Staten Island. Staten Island. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but I love them. I love, I love my islanders. Here, right? Yes. Well, thank you very much. Father Thanks, Buckley. Karen. God bless you. Thank you, and, and God bless all of you out there. Amen.